Oh, wow. I let the intro go a little too far that time. I wasn't paying attention. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having or had a great week. And now the weekend has started. Easter weekend. And, yes. and which means nope. that nope. What the, fuck well, All right. the cat's scratching you. Well, I blocked her. So she decided to hold on with all claws into my knee. Oh, okay. Well, our don't you sharpen your claws on my our shoes. smallest lady cat is in heat right now, and she again, is, yeah, again for the eight millionth time. So she's being unruly and wants a lot of attention, and rubs and pets and more rubs and pets. Um, yeah, we went to Florida, cat back. Um, we had a great time in Florida. Uh, honestly, even without flying, we got to meet everybody down there. Um. Will Fly, Andrew Fuller, PPG Gorilla, Never Trust the Skinny Chef Shane, Rip Man Riding, uh, Tony, Krista, Brian, Brian Haybell Waller, Tony Marzano, Angela Presley, uh, Yankee Paramotor, uh, Paramotor NC. Who am I leaving out? Oh, uh, Nick from Just Us E Bikes, which I was about to call him Justin again. For some reason, I want to call him. And his wife, Wendy. I want to call him Justin. Yeah, Wendy the Explorer was there. And the other Nick. The other Nick. And Isla, who glad glued her eyeball shut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that poor lady. She already can't see out one eye. So she goes to grab her eye drops out of her purse and grab super glue, which apparently was the same size container. Why you would ever put two containers that look identical in your purse, I have no idea, but she did, so she glued and, and her And she used a very liberal eye. amount of glue, from what I understand. Well, she said it was nail glue, so she glued her... Um, nail glue, super glue are the same shit, just so you know. Yeah, who won the bike? I did not win the bike score. Somebody named Ernie, who wasn't even there, but he gave his tickets to a friend of his. Yeah, so they let it, they let it go. You're supposed to be present to win, but... Luckily, the guy that, that did have Ernie's tickets already cleared it with uh, Cupcake Krista. You know, he said, hey, this guy's leaving. Is it okay if I take his tickets? And he's the one that won. Well, the um, way I see it is the person in possession of the ticket wins. Right. Now, so. it is yet to be seen whether he actually gave Ernie his bike or not. I'm sure he did. I'm <laughs> sure he did. Um, yeah, they, they gave out a lot of stuff, and... They didn't pull my name not one time. And I had a hundred yeah, a hundred dollars worth of tickets in there, so go figure. And you yeah, get three entries. tickets for every ten dollars, so I had thirty Those tickets in there. But they never pulled my name, unfortunately. But hey, you know, I did get to ride one of those e bikes, and I gotta tell you, man, um I've never really been on an e bike, but that son of a gun. I've sat on a few of them, not really taking them for a ride. The one that I rode was huge. I mean, it, it the handlebars were out like a chopper. It sat way in the air. My feet barely touched the ground, so I know Munchkin couldn't get on it. So, well, if she did, she would have to, we'd have to hold her up, and then she pushed the trigger and go, because once she stopped, she would fall off, because she was too high off the ground. Damn. What's up, Creed? You are here. Test is good. Hi, Test is good. Um, oh. I got some, uh, a bunch of pods in because, hey, you know, we're living in a pod world now, apparently. I took a bunch with me to Florida because they no, were the easiest thing to use down there. I did take a mod also. 
Um, off I, me. I tried to buy some Heisenberg, but it ended up being Heisenberg with oh, menthol wow. in it, and it it don't taste as good as the other one. I'm not. No, but it was perfect because you were sick to begin with. I was Stay sick. off me. We both I went down up. there completely sick. Um, I'm just about over mine. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my sense of taste and smell, and it's been hell ever since. So I'm trying to get uh trying to get my taste back, which I can now taste a little bit. So I self medicated with Jack Daniels, and it didn't work. It, right? Yeah. You try to. I mean, it you, worked as long as I was drinking, but. Try to heal yourself with alcohol. It never works out too well. Hey, I figured if I got enough alcohol in my bloodstream, it would just kill the virus, right? (laughs) So um, I had a couple of guys contact me. I don't even know who they are, but apparently they know two of the other guys that I fly with here in Virginia. So they said, hey, we're going flying tomorrow, which is Saturday, um, if you want to come. And I'm like, "Uh, okay. I, I don't know who these guys are, um, but apparently they're bringing a couple of other people that are interested in the sport that might want to take up flying. So, heck, if it's flyable, I want to go. I you know I haven't flown since last October, so I'd love to get back up in the air again because that fly-in's coming up in uh, May, so that comes pretty quick, but... Since this is a holiday weekend, I know for a fact that Langley's closed. They have it clearly posted on their website. Anytime a holiday falls on a weekend, they are closed. So they've been flying all day today because it's Friday, but at 5 o'clock on Friday, it shuts down until, I would say, Tuesday because Monday is technically Easter Monday for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm still kind of sick, but I don't have any eye makeup on peanut. But thank you. What's your suggestion, Creed? You have a suggestion for something to review? Yeah. What do you What do you got there? Would you Creed? stop creeping around me? Get down. Damn. That cat is not going to leave you alone. No, she came from the back this time and tried to sneak into my lap. Um, I also got some different oil for my paramotor. I got some blue saber. I just. Went and got gas, mixed it up, put it in there, tried to start the paramotor, and it wouldn't start. So I thought, oh, I flooded it because it was completely dry. I took all the gas out. So I put gas in there, primed it. I saw gas, what I thought went in the carburetor, but after I thought it was flooded, after I pulled about eight times, I sat it down, took the spark plug out, and it was completely dry. Um, I'll get to that, King Cobra. Um, It was completely dry, so... I primed it one more time, and I watched the gas go in the carb, and it fired right up the very next pull. So, um, as far as flying in Florida, um, the Eclipse Dual Borrow Tank. Hmm. That's a good idea, Creed. I did not manage to fly in Florida, and there's two reasons why I did not fly in Florida. Number one, the weather was not good. Um... We did have some sunny weather, but unfortunately it was very windy. And when I say very windy, it was windy. Um, The tops of the trees were bending over, so that's not the kind of weather you want to fly in. And number two, um, why did my screen go black? I don't know. It's acting like we lost internet. Breaking shit. Well, hopefully we're back. Um, Number two... Uh, I would have had to borrow somebody's equipment, and I really didn't feel comfortable borrowing somebody's, which John Wayne offered me his equipment, Paramotor NC offered me his equipment. Hello, Angela. And then one other person offered me the equipment. Yeah, Angela was there, so she knows all about flat for gauge, and she knows how the weather was and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's fine. You can be late. You can be late. That is not the thing. Well, shit. All the websites that I found, it was all in... UK. Yeah, look, look. You got a local Eclipse, link. Eclipse Dual hey, Borough. Yeah, that's what I scroll down, and all the links are UK links. That would be interesting to try. What's up, Will? So How I got you doing? To so, element, babe. yeah, Will was down there, and I know, I I know, Will got to fly because I saw him on video. Angela took a lot of um Hi, a lot of photos and video that I did not get. Um, I tried to take some. I don't have a lot of photos. I really don't. Um, I do have 
video of the entire um, Hi, drawing um, that that happened. But you know, Angela posted that too, so you could watch either one. Um, There's that better peanut. I adjusted my color. I'm a little washed out. Ripman right and posted version. Hi, Scott. Part two of Flight for Gage where he went and interviewed a bunch of people. He didn't interview Will, from what I saw, but he did interview me and a Will bunch of others. Will was hiding. Tony and a bunch of people. So if y'all watch that video, you'll get to see everybody getting interviewed. He's basically just asking, you know, what we did, where we came from, did we get to fly, stuff like that. But um, tomorrow I, I am going to try my best to go fly and I will get video of it. Um, I've already charged my two meter radio, my headset, my cameras, everything's good to go. Um, yeah, it's spread out on my kitchen table. Exactly it's going to be it cold to tomorrow morning, but it's supposed to warm up to 70. Uh -huh. Um, honestly, it'd probably be better for an afternoon flight, but I don't know if the wind's going, the wind's going to be good. At sunrise, and then after sunrise, the wind picks up pretty strong. So, my only chance is early in the morning, like 8 30, 9 well, o'clock. Because it says Planet of the Vapes Co.uk is a good indication. I don't think we had COVID, Will, but we definitely had some kind of cold. Um, you can lose your sense of taste and smell without having COVID. Well, it's because your sinuses were all jacked up. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm I seeing a lot of reviews for it, but I don't see a link to actually buy it. That's I definitely not had a lot of coughing going on. I mean, else. you can tell already right now I'm not coughing anymore. I'm not sneezing like crazy. It's it's pretty much gone at this point. I think Munchkin still she's like a day behind me, maybe two days. So she'll start getting it away from it right after me i'll have so. to search again because i typed in eclipse dual burrow tank and everything i was getting was reviews yeah i'll look um, it up i mean i'm i'm always about getting something that's innovative and new and if that's a dual tank that uses two different flavors hey that'd be awesome 3f has it okay Ooh, if i order from there it's gonna be a month well i don't know china's been shipping pretty quick so say two weeks to get it from there I meant to take these toggles down there when I went, and I didn't even put them in my bag, but nobody was really flying. I don't feel bad about, you know, not flying at all. Um, Will pretty much got the same idea as I did. He did get to fly. I saw him fly, but it was more about the social aspect anyway. Um, so just like... The fly-in that we're going to have up here in Virginia, even though it's not on the USPPA website, which I guess I'm going to have to sign up for that just so that I can post the fly-in because the last time that um, Eric posted it, and I know they're in Japan right now, I think, um, a lot more people came. Um, hey, John Wayne, how you doing? Yeah, John Wayne was going to let me use his equipment. And I just, I really didn't feel right about, and, and he was like, I don't worry, I'm not worried if something gets broke, but I mean, John knows as well as everybody else at that fly in, it was not good weather to fly. Um, John did, I didn't see John go fly at all. He's flown since he's got back home, but it was just not good, which, you know, it, sometimes we, we don't get to fly and that's just facts of life, but we all got to hang out, um, had a great time down there, so I, I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Um, it was all for a good cause, regardless of how much money we spent to get down there and back. It, it still was all for a good cause, and I got to meet some cool people, so I, I enjoy myself. Um, Scott probably never Yeah, really Angela, did. I don't know if you saw my mom posted on that picture you posted of my bug. She's let like, me, I have that purse. Let me yeah, see this that tank yours, that y'all speak of. Crazy woman. So, well, it says dual, but that looks like one tank. So how does it dual? I don't know. That's why you should buy it and figure it out. Cartridge, chamber, deck. Does it just mean dual coil? It says coil? dual bridge. 
not dual tank. Oh, it looks like it, it's a dual coil instead of a single coil tank. Uh, it says it ships in 24 hours. That's not I bad. Ha I have not, Will. I, I missed it at the end of the show last time. Yeah, we need to we need to um post that live on uh YouTube uh Angela's moon footage. Angela got um, some really good footage of the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically Will got good footage. That was the, the biggest moon. moon I've ever seen. I don't I, I it's I think the moon was closer to the earth or something. It was crazy. Had to have been. It was very low in, in the um, sky. Let's see what I got on my phone because I do have some stuff on here. Um, I can show you. All I the gotta card. order that pee stuff because I've shampooed the hell out of this carpet. And it still smells like dog. This piss. is the this. Wait, let me get my screen up so I can see what I'm doing. This is the car we rented. So it's a Dodge Challenger and it's a gray color. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera. There's a side view of it. That's the Dodge Challenger that we rented. Um. Nice car. I mean, it had 30,000 miles on it. It ran really good. Um, Y'all want to see John Wayne and um, hmm. and Tony Marzano? There you go. There's John Wayne and Tony Marzano right there. Why does it keep going in and out of focus? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, got, I got lots of pictures of folks. Um... <laughs> what else do I got pictures of that y'all would be interested in seeing? It was kind of like you guys. It was kind of like a vape convention, the kind I'd want to go to, where you're just sitting around a campfire drinking and having snacks. That's um, PPG and, and Gorilla on the left and the orange, and then me, which I look really skinny right there for some reason, but I'm not skinny. And then Speaking. Tony Marzano on the right and blue right there. I do got a few pictures. I mean, I, I didn't get a lot. I do have a picture of Will. So we got to show Will. Um, here's Will riding one of the e-bikes. Ha ha! And that was the, one of the smaller e-bikes because, you know, Will's not really big, so... I did get I did get a picture of uh, Rip Man riding up on top of a RV. He's sitting on top right there. Which let me see if I can zoom in on that. Why is it not? There he is sitting up on top of the RV. Why I have no no idea, but that's where he was. He's like, let me sit up there. I got a picture of Gorilla Ground from behind, which doesn't sound right. Um, you got gorilla from behind? Is that what you just I said? I didn't get gorilla from behind. I didn't say that. No, no. I'm pretty sure you just did. There's Andrew Fuller. Um, this is what I mean. I got gorilla. It says gorilla ground on the top of his shirt, which you can barely see. But yeah, that's. And um, I look pissed. You may have been, Will. Who knows? <laughs> Drinking and good people. We didn't eat. You know, we. I couldn't get like wasted. I couldn't drink myself to a new. Um, is that a new light from my mod stand? Oh, you mean they this haven't seen your light yet? This I thought y'all have already seen this, Scott. No, they haven't. Okay, well that is a three D hologram projector. Um, yeah, I I see that. Uh, Podchucker. So what you're seeing right now is actually a. It looks like a stick, and it's. You it know, has they'd LEDs. be able to see it better if you didn't have the flashing lights in your. Here, fucking I will window. show you guys better. Hold on a second. Um, Turn the lights off in your window, and then it's not going to drown out the color. All right. It's still going to drown out the color. N no, it won't. That looks a thousand times better. Does it? Okay. I mean, Angela, to be fair, it was weak liquor, but yeah. <laughs> I will, Relative I will to make what this I'm look way better here if y'all give me just a minute.
All I have to do is change the ISO on this camera and y'all be able to see the colors. Um, it's going to, uh, you see how it's doing now? Now uh, it depends on what the image is. Whoa. Can I get this straight? Well, that's kind of crazy looking. Yeah, it's doing the black weird thing. Let's uh, let's change the um, exposure. See, that just makes me want a cheeseburger. All right, now y'all should be able to see this pretty darn good. So, it, yeah, this is just a flat fan looking thing. They're like, well, depending on which one you can get, you can spend between 75 and $300, depending on how big a one you want. Um, this one was $99. Um, it is 19 and a half inches um, on Amazon. Uh, so you can get it in a couple of days. Uh, let me skip the Santa stuff. I just ha I haven't had a lot of time to go through and change the images. That's Kane Gook's picture. There's a butterfly. It is a 3D hologram. I'll give you a link to it in a second, Scorp. Um, this is a Pepsi can. Kind of Dom Long, now, except the fan is very, very powerful. It spins very fast. Yeah, this thing spins fast, but it doesn't really put off any air, even though it sounds yeah. like a fan. I can put my hand in front of it, and I don't feel any air. I wouldn't it, even say it's a fan. It's basically spinning LED lights. Hey, Roger. So you can see now how big around it is. And I mean, once I put the Dr. Pepper image up, I'll show you. This is a video of when I had that scary landing that I thought I was going to die trying to come into land. Um, I know the video kind of, it doesn't look like that in person. It's the camera frame rate. So um, you'll see me come in and I get lifted up right as I was landing. Luckily, I had a good headwind coming in. It was making me come in nice and slow, but um, it was also very rocky. As you can see, my wing going back and forth. And that wasn't me hitting the turns it's just the way the wind was hitting it there i get lifted up and then i go down on my knees so there's a landing for you all right let's go to the next you one you had that extra lift from the wind and still couldn't land on your feet now oh, that's a, there's some pictures there's the flying fox which um if i show y'all there's a run into the sky logo there's the scuba logo there's me and munchkin in our suits <laughs> There's a scuba logo that I think Darthing made for me. Um, there's Will Fly's logo. And I literally just stole that off the internet and turned it into an image that I could put on here. Um, where's the Dr. Pepper can? So that's a dragon. Um, there's a, Look how big that Dr. Pepper. Just to give you all an idea. Why don't you my let hand. them see the damn dragon? That's my hand. So that's how big that Dr. Pepper can is. I can go back to the Yes, dragon. I think they can see that that was your hand. So I'll give y'all a link to this one if y'all decide y'all want this particular one. Like I said, there are cheaper ones. Um, and if y'all need help setting it up or anything, just let me know. I can I can help y'all. He's with... only allowed to play that video if we can see the moon, Angela. You can watch that video under the moon. Let me go to the links. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is the exact one I got. I'm going to copy the link. It's still 99 bucks, but it also has a 10% off coupon, it looks like. So, was that going to be 90 bucks? Um, there's a link to it. That's the exact one I got. It's called Miss You 3D Hologram Fan. And that's Scoop what it looks like. Scoop is kind of a prude. He doesn't do porn. Porn? What? Dom Long said he waits till wait till you figure out how to put porn on it. <laughs> yeah, like I would put that on YouTube. <laughs> let me just throw that on YouTube real quick. Yeah, no. Um, let me see if I can go and put put, put myself back where I'm supposed to be here. Uh, is it number four? I think. Uh, the, yeah. Oh, I forgot to fix the camera. The auto exposure. There we go. That should fix it. Kinda, sorta. There we go. 
And look, I only yelled at him because, all right, y'all, y'all know how difficult it is when you're trying to do something and someone's trying to help you when you haven't asked them for help yet. I don't, I don't like that. He's, he's grabbing the bike as I'm trying to lean it to the side so I can get off. And he's grabbing hold of it, interrupting what I was trying to do. And then my leg got stuck. You couldn't get your leg over the thing. Yeah, but so. I did. That's not when, as soon as I pulled up, you immediately grabbed the handlebars. I'm so I said, to don't touch me. Falling. Stop it. I wasn't going to fall. I was doing that on purpose so I could put my foot down. It wasn't until I tried to swing my leg over the edge and realized I was too short. Which ones did you get, Creed? Because the one that he rode was huge. And the handlebars were... Well, I rode two of them. Munchkin wants the, the throttle on the right. Yeah. And the ones we rode, well, the throttles can, on the right. Can I tell the story? Go ahead. The handlebars are way too far apart for me. It To me, it was the equivalent of riding like the chopper with your hands up in the air. It was uncomfortable. I cannot see being comfortable riding that way for a long time. Not to mention the throttle was on the left and I'm right-handed so i didn't i didn't care for that one the one that i rode of krista's the throttle was the twist throttle instead of a thumb throttle and it was on the right and it had much the handlebars weren't spread so far apart so hello three dog how you doing my feet do reach the ground when i walk but that's about it roger <laughs> Yeah, um, the the mod I think you're thinking about red is this one. This is the Odin V2. It is a dual 21700 mod also. So if you would like something smaller for your hand that's dual 21700, this works also. The Evdillo is another one. Um, I don't even know if they still sell that, but I think you can still buy the um, Odin V2. So that would be another way to go if you're trying to get dual 21700 mod oh speaking of which they had a waffle which i know harry knows um they had a waffle over in dcf for one of the lipo mods that they sell and those mods are 385 dollars right so i um <coughs> they had 80 slots and they were five dollars a ticket so i bought four tickets right and then, it, for two reasons. Uh, one reason, the it was taking forever for the waffle to get filled up. And number two, I was like, you know what? I didn't get enough slots, so I'm going to just pick some random other slots. So, I know the number that won was 65, and I picked 35, 55, 65. Um, okay. So... I actually won the um, the lipo mod from DCF, so that one is going to be Munchkins, because I'm sure Dolores will be Woo-woo. thankful that I am giving that to Munchkin. Yes, she would be. Um, Dolores would approve. Dolores would have jumped my case if I didn't give that to Munchkin, because I already have one on a payment plan that I've almost finished paying for, so as soon as that, well, not as soon as that gets paid off, Munskins is already going to be on the way. Um, we only had a choice of 13 different designs, and I let Munchkin go through all that and pick the design she wanted. It also comes with a 500 ml bottle of juice. I let her pick her juice. So she gets a 500 ml bottle of juice and the Lipo mod, mm-hmm. which is a 3000 ma DNA 250C, which is color, um, mod, which that's awesome. So that's the same one, and I, I had to confirm with Julie. I was like, is that the same one I have on layaway or payment plan, whatever? Yes, mm-hmm. it is. I was like, okay, good. So we'll have the same thing. It's just mine's going to have a custom wrap. So whatever design that we end up coming up with or Dave ends up coming up with is what my mod will look like. And um, yes, you're right, Dom Long. Yes, Munchkin would have kicked me in the butt. It would have been nice to see more people fly at the fly-in, but, I mean, I honestly, it was not safe to be flying. Um, the few people that did fly, I was worried for their safety, to be honest with you. There were alligators down there. Munchkin and I personally didn't get to see any, but 
I know quite a few people come back and you know, they were like, yeah, there was just a gator over there. And I'm, by the time I went and looked, there was no gator. So I tried to go find some, couldn't find any. Because we were way down in the lower part of Florida. So you can definitely catch some or see some gators down there. Um, I also did not get to try the delicious barbecue. They had a food truck there at Hardy's Lake Park. And Will came back with some barbecue ribs. And I was like, man, I want some of them ribs. But I didn't want to go buy ribs because Shane was making us brisket that night. And I'm like, that's not good. Why would I go eat ribs, then come back and go, yeah, let me, let me get some brisket now. So I held out. And then by the time I wanted to get barbecue, the truck was already gone. I think it was Saturday afternoon-ish. And the truck had already left. I didn't realize they were leaving that early. Or I would have ordered some before that. So I Why missed can't it. that be shipped to this location? Tony saw gators? Wow. See, even Tony got to see the gators. I didn't get to see the gators, but Tony got to see the gators. And I'm sorry, y'all, about... Oh, I didn't tell y'all what happened. So, that stream that I did while we were at Fly It For Gage, I know y'all realize I only did a 30-minute stream. At least I did stream. Mm. I'm consistent. Um, I was on my laptop, and... The battery was about to die, so I had to get... You saw lots of gators? Damn, John Wayne. Should have came and got us. So, I had to get off the stream because my laptop was dying. And I didn't know where the power adapter was. I was asking Munchkin where it was. Hey, go look in the car. Go look in my bag. See if you can find it. Blah, blah, blah. Soon as I got off the stream, I got out of my chair, and I was sitting on the damn power adapter the entire time. No idea it was under my butt. So... I could have kept going, but I was using, you know, I was hooked on Starlink down there, and honestly, I thought it was going to mess up, so. Oh, not at the fly-in. <laughs> okay, John, that that makes me feel better, as long as you didn't see it at the fly-in. Munchkin almost got a new pug. Yeah, there was a pug that showed up at our campsite, and Munchkin was like, well, if nobody comes back to get this dog, it's coming home with me. It was just, look, it was, I was wandering around looking for critters to make friends with. I I had a, a, a cicada that somehow attached his shell to my purse and hatched himself out of my, out of his shell on my purse. So I held him until his little wings and stuff tried out. Um, yeah, nobody was even walking around looking for this pug. The dog's just wandering around the park all by himself, it going was. up to visit people and getting scratches. And then it's like he had been there before and he was making his rounds. But nobody was like, hey, have you seen my dog? And I'm like, if he's still here when we leave, he's coming with me. I even had somebody offer to let me borrow her service dog paperwork so I could get him on the plane and I could send it back to her once we got home. It was I really totally abducted that pug. It was really cool meeting Angela and Tony in person and Will and John Wayne and everybody else that we got to meet down there. We had a great time. Regardless of whether we got to fly or not, we had a good time. That's all that mattered. I mean, Munchkin thought that we were going to be out in the middle of a field somewhere and be bored to death. But honestly, there was not a moment that we were like bored. There was always something to do. If we weren't playing cards, we were doing something. Um, trying to find another drink somewhere. So it was it was a good time, I think. John Wayne's got that brand new van. Looks nice. I like it. I like it. I did switch my oil today to Blue Saber. Um... Like I was saying earlier when I first got on here, um, when I first started, my paramotor was completely dry. No gas in it, no nothing, because I haven't flown it since, since last October. So I put gas in there. I thought I primed it enough. I saw the gas going into the carburetor. You know, I pumped it, and then when I put it on my back, gas was shooting out of the vent tube. I'm like, oh, it's pretty full. So I pulled that thing like eight times, nothing. 
I figured, well, I flooded it, right? So I went, took the spark plug out. The spark plug's completely dry, smelled like old gas. I'm like, what the hell? So I put some gas on the spark plug, put it back in, tried to start it, wouldn't start. I'm like, well, I guess it's still not getting gas. So I, all I did was barely hit the prime button again on the carburetor and for about half a second, and I saw gas, and then the very next pull, vroom, it started right up. And I let it run for about five minutes. Um, I let it idle for a good two minutes to get the exhaust warmed up. Um, I did a full pre-flight on it before I even started it. Um, it ran really good. Uh, revved it up until I couldn't hold myself back anymore. I was literally, I was facing the ground and I revved it all the way up. Um, tomorrow, when we go to this... Uh, Messick Point to fly. There's supposed to be two new pilots. Ah, I'm saying two new pilots. Two pers two pers perspectful per per perspective per perspective pilots. Is that right? Yep. Doesn't sound right. Two perspective pilots that are going to be there. They're thinking about going, getting into flying, so they're going to watch me and whoever this... I don't even know who this other guy is are supposed to go flying. Now, I, if it's nice weather, I can almost guarantee that Jay and Joe are going to be there, even if they fly from their house. It's funny you say that, King Cobra. He looked just like Frank from uh, Men in Black. That would have been He his did. Name. He did look like Frank. I was like, where's the Men in Black guys at? Where's Will When Smith? I called him Frank, he turned around and looked at me. To potential, yeah, you know, King Cobra, I'm just, perspective pilot, per, perspective pilots. So this is bullshit. I am trying to order some Odo Band. It's professional disinfectant. It's $10 for a gallon, and yeah. it says it can't ship here. What the hell? Was it restricted in our area or something? I don't know. I even tried to change shipping to work. But I can do the more expensive one, the $26, that doesn't say that it's professional. These pods have actually been really good. These are 20K pods. Um, they say Nexa on them. Um, this is sour apple ice. It's not the best sour apple I've ever had, but it's not bad. The grape one is excellent which is somewhere around here um my grape one's still going so actually i have two of the grape ones and one sour apple um and these aren't have bad either stop. the spaceman ones these are the ones with the screen on them um i don't know why they wasted all that money on a screen on a disposable mod but hey there you go this one's triple strawberry um i can't taste the strawberry that good but that's because I can't taste flavors right now really good. I get the sweetness out of it, but that's about it. I can't tell that it's strawberry. I can taste my pear claw again. I'm trying so hard. Now, when Muskin's he made me vaping, re-wick my own shit. Ain't that something? When Muskin's Do you vaping, that? I can smell the blueberry when she's vaping that. Your 520 is a daily banger. Oh, you're very welcome, Cloud Chucker. I'm glad I'm glad you like it. The 520 is one of my favorite burrow tanks. It just is. And I don't even have the plus. I have the regular 520, so I'm sure the plus is even better. Did we come home with bug bites? Um, Angela, we did not I had like two. And that's because at 8 p.m. Saturday night when Hell's Gates were opened, I don't know if y'all realized that at 8 o'clock Saturday night, somebody released a swarm of mosquitoes and everybody started itching at the same time. That's when we jumped out in our car and got the hell on. After well, I, I tried to tell everybody bye, but... I also was using Krista's... I need you know, a re refill. Hold on. This oh, causes cancer problem. in the state of California bug spray, too, so... I sprayed that shit on my face and everything... Now, I did get a rash on the side of my neck and my face from the damn soap at the hotel. I'm allergic to it. That was unfortunate. 
I noticed that after I got out of the shower. I was like, why does my neck look... It looked lumpy. It wasn't. I mean, you couldn't really feel anything. But, yeah. It was like baby hives. And I had little tiny blisters all over my hands. And my face was all dried out. You know, if damn TSA would let me bring fucking soap on a plane, I don't know what they think I'm going to do with it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm aware of Creed. I was being a smart ass. I mean, this week has been kind of bad for us paramote pilots because Wednesday, you know, Monday we did our show, and then Tuesday Shane had his show. Wednesday, Jade normally does her show, but she is in Japan right now, so no Jade show. Thursday is usually paramotortalk.com, but he quit doing a show, so no Thursday show. So all y'all are left with is me on Friday. And then we have to circle back and wait till Monday again. And there you go. I, I thought they volunteered John Wayne to do a show. Oh, I can like it? That's crazy. Can I like it? Well, it says like, but it's not letting me click like. I'm choking on my nuts, y'all. And Thank Tony. You're choking on what, whose nuts? My own. What, <laughs> what diseases and cooties do you think baby cicadas carry? Thank you, Cloud Chucker. You're awesome, man. I didn't eat him. Sooner or later, I'll turn membership on for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but some people want me to. It does not mean anybody has to join. So you can see I have the grape one. You mean you're not going to start charging people to hang out with you in Zoom? No, I would never do that. Never do that. That's, that's <laughs> such a low move, man. Yeah, if y'all wanna if y'all wanna hang out with me live, you gotta be a member, you know, then you can get an exclusive stream to me and we just lost internet or something. No, we didn't. Uh now it's back. Well, I'm just telling you what I saw on my screen. Ooh, I just made it way too big. Hold on. There we go. There is Tony. Thank you, Cloud Chucker. Mr. King Dumbass that hasn't done a show and hasn't told anybody why he hasn't done his show. What in the hell, Tony? Tony Billy. Inquiring minds want to know the hell you been. Just saying. Tony usually were supposed to do a show after my show. I don't know. Cloud Chucker, I mean, I, honestly, dude, I... I've never done this for money. I, I enjoy helping whenever I can. Honestly, I haven't got a lot of new vape gear in quite a while because nothing's stood out to me. Now, that duo tank, I may get that. It's not dual flavor. It's just dual coil. But a dual coil burrow might kick step the game up. You know what I mean? You're working. Uh -huh. Well, damn, Tony. I did not know you were working at night. How the hell? Okay. He loves helping people, but he made me rewick my own shit. Okay. I call bullshit. As far as the rewicking, making Munchkin rewick her own thing, I Slave just wicked her. I I just rewicked her mod with brand new coils and mm -hmm. brand new cotton, and it hasn't even been a week, and she's already destroyed it. So I figure maybe I'm not fault? wicking it right. Let's let her try it and see how it works out. I think it's because it she was the tried juice. two different kinds of juices in there, and one of them just killed her coils. So It has nothing to do with two different kinds of juice. The coils were killed by three-quarters of the way through that bottle of the blueberry cake. Jazzy, hey, what is up, my brother? I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, for the people that don't know in chat, um, Jazzy's grandmother right. has passed away. Um, and Jazzy has done an excellent job. What, like 14 years he's been taking care of his grandmother. Um, just him. He's been doing all the work, everything in the background, taking care of her, making sure she had everything she needed. And that's, that's freaking awesome, dude. I, I know she really appreciated that. I mean, I, I know I would. 
You know, you can't always count on people when you get older to help when you when you get older. You would think that, you know, hey, I took care of you when you were little. Maybe you can help me out when I get older. They don't always step up to the plate. So good for you, man, for, for sticking with her all that time. Um, yeah, so. But she's in a better place, Jazzy, so I, w I wouldn't. Don't let it get you down, bud. Keep on doing what you do. Be strong. That's exactly right. Um, she was 99. Three months. Oh, she almost made it to 100. That gummit. That's the same thing with Betty White. She's it's like, come on, man. Make 100. Nope. It's like, oh, you were so close to 100. Technically, Jazzy, she was 100. Because if you count the time before she was born, I mean, you're you're technically alive for nine months before you're born, right? If unless you're, you know, prenatal. Um, my my wife just told me I burned two hundred fifty calories. I'm getting more exercise doing my show than I do during the day. <laughs> so technically, she did make a hundred. That's that's what I'm saying, Jazzy. I mean, that's the way I would look at it. Um, cause she technically was probably already six months old before, you know, you could add that six months on and she would be a hundred. So she made a hundred years old. Her heart did beat for a hundred years. That's the way I see it. Did I just say my wife? What? I did not say that. Hey, Lindy. How you doing? Look at all the rabbits. Look at the rabbits. It is Easter Sunday. It is Easter Sunday. I did not say wife. What did I say wife? I don't remember saying if I said wife, I did not mean to. Yeah, I, I did not mean to say that. <laughs> I've had people from, I'll re, I will check this stream. How far are we in? 47 minutes. I will check it later on. Uh, I can't check it right now, but I will go back. Did I say wife? Wow. Wow. Okay. I believe y'all. I mean, uh, three of y'all said I said it, so maybe I did. I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, I just hope that I haven't lost touch with reality and touch with my skills on flying. I have been kiting, so it's not like I just put my stuff away and said, ah, the hell with paramotoring, I'll do it next year. I've been kiting when I've been able to, so um, my wing needs to get back in the air because it's still got cobra chicken crap on there from when I went and kited the last time in the field a couple weeks ago because all the Canadian geese have destroyed the field, but it rained and all that's gone now. So, um, that's cool, Ed. Oh, that's awesome, Jazzy. She needs to come visit everybody. Jazzy wants to come down here and me take him flying like tandem. And I'm like, uh, and, and he's like, well, don't worry about my weight, you know, blah blah blah. And I'm like, well, there's there's a problem, right? There's two types of tandems. You can either tandem with a trike, which I only have a single trike. I can't do tandem. Or you can do the thing where you hook a harness in front of you and take somebody up. I don't have that harness. I don't know how expensive it is. It can't be that much, but you're technically supposed to be licensed also to be able to do that. You know, taking off with Jazzy strapped to your chest might be all right. I'm just saying, landing might not work out so well. Well, Dom Long, <laughs> as far as the wing getting eaten by moss, I think that's already happened because I did have a couple holes in my wing that I couldn't figure out what happened. I mean, it's closed up in a bag, sealed Those really tight. Those look like abrasions, and we don't have moths in our house. No, we don't. We don't have any bugs in our house, which is awesome. Well, except stink bugs. We do get, yeah, we get a, every once in a while we'll get a stink bug out of the blue. Don't know how it gets in the house, but... They mind their own business, though, so... 
Someone around here must have a tandem set up. Creed, you'd be surprised. I would say exactly, in North Scott. Carolina, yes. Um, because you, there's a lot more paramotor pilots in North Carolina. But in Virginia, I don't know of any one person that has a tandem set up. Except maybe like if Jazzy was here. <laughs> if Jazzy can make it down here in May for the spring wing fly-in. I can guarantee somebody will be at that fly-in that can give him a tandem flight. If it you can't be make me. it in May, they do it again in September. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it can be Dyer May or September. Dyer said moths don't eat rayon. So if you can come down one of those two months, um, then, yeah, there's a good chance you can get a tandem flight. It doesn't have to be me. I mean, I'm not going to take somebody else's equipment and be like, yeah, let me take Jazzy up. That doesn't work that way. September's more realistic. Okay, well. Plan on September, man. Try to get down here then. We'll get you in the air. I know Linda's hopefully going to get to be able to fly sometime this year. I mean, if she don't. I got a spare bed right here. I mean, you might have to. Well, she found out that um, Eric and Jade aren't going to that Torchport fly-in that she usually gets. She usually gets to fly tandem with them, but she's not going to get because they're not going. And I, I guess it's the fact that Jay doesn't, she's not going to fly anymore, which that's her decision. That's completely fine. But, um, you know, I wouldn't, it's one time a year and, you know, Linda looks forward to it. And if she don't get to fly, I mean, maybe somebody else will be there that could take you up. I don't know. Um, I honestly wouldn't blow off the trip. Um, there's got to be more than one tandem pilot there if it's a fly-in. Just guessing. There you go, Linda. Yeah, don't give up on your hope fly this year. I mean, you literally get to do this one time a year. Come on, internet. There you go. Oh, the I'm going. Shit on the she floor. said, oh, I'm going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you hear me? What? Your dog shit on the floor again. Right next to the puppy bed. I'm going to string my dog up. She tried to I mean, go, you know that can be arranged, right? You know, they have vets that will take care of that kind of shit. She, well, she tried to go earlier, and I took her outside, and honestly, I, I took her down the stairs, let her loose in the backyard. It took her an hour to figure out how to get back to the back door. I think I literally think she can't see her way back in anymore. She's... She's getting really bad. I think she's on her last leg, unfortunately. I don't think it has anything to do with her being able to see. It's because she's got doggy dementia. Doggy which would dementia. explain literally the wandering around in circles. She does do that a Wandering lot. back and forth. It's like she'll get to her bed and then go, wait, I want to get something to eat. She'll walk to the bowl and go, wait, I need to go get to the... Yes, unfortunately, Angela, she is still here. Yeah. And I hate to say that, and it sounds very callous, and I feel like a horrible person for saying it because I know he's had her since she's a puppy, but I'm totally over that fucking dog. And, you know, the only reason I haven't really thought about doing tandem is because Munchkin has no interest in it whatsoever. Zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has zero interest. And honestly, who else would I fly? I'm not going to go grab the neighbors. Hey, do y'all want to go fly? I'm not gonna do Leroy that. Leroy totally would go fly with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He would totally. Leroy. You, you, I don't remember his name. All I. Mr. I Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. All right. Yeah. yeah he he would. called him Leroy. You might, <laughs> you might have to get some drinks in him, but yeah. He does look like a Leroy. He might fly. Right. He might. It's funny because I went out today when I was about to. I just got gas for the pair motor. One of these days, it might be Will. Depends. And, and when I got out of the truck. Mr. Lawrence was like, Hey, you going flying? I was like, well, right now I'm just, I'm just getting the motor, you know, broke back in. It didn't have any gas in it. So I'm, I'm starting it up, but blah, blah, blah. I know what's wrong with it. So Ain't he got was, no gas in it. he was hanging out with some other guy. I've never met this other guy. And, and Mr. Lawrence was like, yeah, he don't, he don't know what we're talking about. Like the guy that was standing with him has no idea what we're talking about. But that guy was like, Wait, I think I know. Does he fly like a paraglider thing? And I was like, exactly. And he's like, that's badass right there. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. 
you so, know there's only one carb in these crispy blunts? One carb per stick. Yeah, they came out with that new flavor now, vanilla. Crispy Vanilla's blunts. boring. I I don't know. Vanilla baklava it would be delicious. Any those are Strawberry delicious baklava, regardless. They are I'm, delicious. I'm scared to freaking touch those things. I just wish they made normal ones because I'd eat the hell out of them. You flew 40 minutes yesterday. John Wayne, my longest flight was about two hours long. And the reason why is because I was flying at the beach. I technically could have flew longer, but I think I was about to run out of gas. I was very low on gas when I landed. I just guessed Not it as perfectly. low as you think. You could have gone for a little while longer. Maybe a little bit longer. Not Not far, though. It was pretty low. I mean, I would have just been a pile of ash and sunglasses by the time you got back. Oh you my stayed God. out it much got longer. So but yeah. hot. I mean, you're talking what? That was like right after July 4th. It was hot. It was hot. It Kitty Hawk. Yeah. And no, we're not going to the beach. We're going to the airport. There's going to be trees and shade. Motherfucker did not pack. All right. This was his thing. Okay. This was his thing. <laughs> he didn't pack a cooler. He didn't pack chairs. He took nothing with him but his paramotor and his mods. That's it. Nothing. Nothing. I, Not even a chair. Nothing. To be fair. I had to lay on the beach on a metal aluminum bench. <laughs> no wonder I was burnt to a crisp. I, I had no idea we were going to the beach. You know <laughs> okay, as well as I Okay, even then, you still didn't bring chairs? What the fuck? Kyle thought it was funny as hell. <laughs> you ran out of gas on your second flight? Oh, you flew two hours. Nice, John. Hell yeah. <laughs> so. Look, Will. I will kick you in the knee. I'm just saying. <laughs> she will poke you with her pokey elbows. Yes. I, um. Will, will got to feel my elbows, y'all. <laughs> well, we went to Kitty Hawk, and they told me before we went that we were going to fly out of Kitty Hawk, circle the monument, and land at Kitty Hawk Airfield. They lied. So we get all the way down there, and he goes, and I'm like, where are y'all at? And he's like, no, we're not going to fly out of there. We're going to fly from over here off the beach. And I'm like, the hell? Nobody told me that. So, yeah, we went to fly from the beach. So that's what we did. That um, really has no relevance because even if we're flying from the field around the monument, again, no cooler, no water, nothing to drink, no snacks, no chair. Yeah, nothing. we were kind of. You didn't bring nothing. We were kind of unprepared. Um, I don't know. Do, you were unprepared. I left that up to you. Why? Well, I got to pack everything. Because it's your trip. I thought women. Again, oh, that's like, why we ended up having to get up at 4 a.m. to fly back home because I left this trip to Florida up to him as well. Well, that was the return flight. I made sure that we didn't have to leave to go down there at the crack of dawn. I couldn't. Well, I guess I can't win both ways. I couldn't control the return flight. I, yes, you can. It tells you <laughs> before you book it <laughs> when you leave and when you come back. It automatically filled in the return, so... I just was like, okay, good enough. I didn't think, oh, we're going to have to fly. Exactly, we're going to have Roger. to drive an hour or so. Yeah, so, and it was, what it is what it was. Eventually, you'll be, get good at planning because I'm not taking it back over just because you're incompetent at it. That's how you learn. Yeah. I, I might pack my own backup cooler. <laughs> I was grouchy as fuck on the way back. I was, I don't think we said but two words to each other all the way to the airport. Because <laughs> it was, it was entirely too damn early. It was, it was early. Um, I had no problem with it. Uh, actually, I wasn't that tired. We, we got the airport. I was, I'm probably wasn't tired because I get all hyped up because we're getting on an airplane. And I, I want to have my wits about me when we get on that airplane, so. It's not it like fine, you have to fly it. No, I do not have to fly it. That was good. It's her fault she left it up to me. There you go, Dom Long. That's the way I see it. No, that's not how that works. I 
I have so much other stuff I have to make sure that I bring. It, you got to get the little stuff that I forget. So I have to worry about us while he only gets to worry about himself. You know what? Sometimes I wish I was a dude. That'd be so I nice. I have to make sure I get the paramotor, mm. the rack that the paramotor goes on, my wing, my helmet, my uh -huh. two meter radio. My cameras have to be charged. My headset has to be charged. Um, I have to bring the appropriate clothing and sunglasses to wear. You did not encounter any terrorists at the airport, except for TSA. Those ones at Orlando, they do not play at all. They're like fucking drill sergeants. There's like everybody, <laughs> keep moving, keep moving. Oh and then they're, we, they made us walk by canines. They're like, pick a partner side by side, stay close and keep moving. And some people stop to dilly dally. And the guy yelled, I said, keep moving. It's like, damn, all right, we're going. Yeah, you, like, you cannot you stop stay moving on. there. Yeah. They, they keep that line moving in Orlando. Yeah, the, the line was really, really long, but we did not. We literally stood still for maybe 30 seconds. No, 30 seconds, maybe five seconds, because I, I wasn't am even saying able to 30, zip up my bag. I'm, I'm saying 30 combined oh. <laughs> you know, from the time we got in line to where we got through TSA. Yeah, every time I tried <laughs> to stop, the line moved again. I mean, I literally didn't even have time to zip up my book bag. I set it down, went to zip it, and the line was moving. I was like, damn, can I... Can I just, it, it wasn't that bad, Wally, because they kept that shit going. There was no, and they, keep your shoes on. And the poor lady behind me kept having to grab all my shit. I dropped the suitcase. Then I lost my sweatshirt. So she's like, here, you drop this. Here, let me pick this up. It's, um, it's kind of funny. They, they, yeah. they put my bag through the x-ray scanner. <laughs> then they pulled it out. And they were like, yeah, your bag's got too many electronics in it. We're going to have to well, separate I, some of this out. I was standing there when it went through the x-ray and I saw the guy looking at the bag and he just pulled it off and told the other dude, he goes, there's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> he just shoved it down the end. <laughs> yeah, it, so, it wasn't even that in Dom Long. They did not look in any, well, they looked in his bag, but and then the guy was questioning him about his mod and what kind is this? Because I lost mine. And what, what's the name of it? And, yeah. It's like, yeah, is that a legend? I was like, no, it's not a legend. This is a, um, a guar. But Good he, night, Angela. He Enjoy your fish fry. See ya, Angela. Fish fry time. How is your fish fry more important? I'm just kidding. Go have your Food fish is always fry. more important. And uh, food is yeah, food. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely. They run a tight ship in Orlando, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, that they do. It'll be nice to get back in the air. I have every intention of landing on my feet tomorrow. Well, that's good. Regardless of what the wind conditions are, this is my problem, right? I'm so scared that I'll flare too early that I flare too late, I think is what it is. Even though my wing, I have to flare yes, really far. Yes, you're overthinking it. I do know where it catches. It catches almost at my waist. So if I do that a little early and I start to balloon, I've seen a lot of people land this way. Even though you start to balloon, you can just hold it right there. And then as you start to get to the end of the balloon, you finish out your flare and you can still land on your feet. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Yeah, we got to get out of here into it, Mexico to come lands, back across. That's the problem, Will. The landing seems so much easier with my trims out because I come in faster and the flare works better. But, I'm just saying when you were doing touch and goes at Messick Point, well, you did to, not have it in your head that I'm trying to land and you did it flawlessly. Flawlessly. Yeah. Because you weren't overthinking it because you weren't thinking no. oh my god i gotta land it wasn't you were like that. no it's i'm I gonna a... hit the ground no no i'm telling you you're wrong and i'm right you okay. weren't thinking i, I need to land i because when i've seen you land multiple times you don't keep running you don't even make an attempt to keep running where you did when you were doing touch and goes because you were planning on taking off again so just plan for that just don't take off again 
Yeah, the foot Think to and... yourself, I'm going to do a touch and go, and then just don't go. I've almost done <laughs> foot drags, John Wayne. I, I have gone and flown about two feet off the ground. I just didn't want to go down and drag my feet... Honestly, my cage is so big. He hasn't I'm landed on the space. That my Dumbo. cage is gonna hit the ground. My cage is. Huge. I got a one fifty cage. That's way bigger than most of your one forty or one thirty cages. It's big, so that thing will bang into people. I didn't see Linda. <laughs> What's up, CDC? Hi, CDC. You did miss a lot, CDC. I mean, you can always strap, like, you know, the rubber baby buggy bumpers to the bottom of your cage. Uh, what's, what's those going to do? <laughs> the main thing is I do have flotation, so if I do... Tomorrow, if we fly, we're definitely going to be flying close to water. And I know DeMillan... No, you're going to be tail. flying over the water. It's called Messick Point for a reason. Well, there's not... There's a lot of swamp i could land in that that is technically i mean you could technically stand in it's it. you, marsh but it's yeah. marsh yeah you could stand up in it it's just not preferred good luck walking with a cage on your back so yeah we'll just have to see i have no idea how it's going to turn out tomorrow but i'm Thankfully looking forward no, to Roger. it um i got everything prepped ready to go i just got to strap everything down tomorrow morning and head out Yes, he does have floaties. I do wheel. have floaties, Will. Um, I got some. Um, which flotation sure do I got? I got the I got the good ones. Um, I, I can't remember what they are, but they're they're strapped onto my paramotor on each side, but enough room that and high enough to where it'll keep my head above the water if I do go in the water. How do I give coins? You you I think it's. Exclamation point give and then whatever the name is and then how many coins I think but Dire thing knows more than I do Can't believe you're gonna make me get up early tomorrow You are you're gonna come with me? me. Oh, you're gonna make me yeah, I, I don't have to I Would prefer if you come especially to see me land on my feet It could be a Glorious day, and you don't even know. Only if we can stop and get coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Unless you Ooh, want me to Starbucks. start biting people. Uh, I, you know... It was weird, Linda. You don't I want to do Starbucks? I can't really get... I mean, Starbucks is great and all, except for the fact that they have very few sugar-free syrups, and I like to have... Creamer, oh, and I, don't I got think you. Think they got have, you. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to be one of those people. I'm definitely. <laughs> Kyle Tucker cannot give fifty thousand to blank. Yeah, well, Cloud Chucker was so. Yeah, there you go. So you do it like that, Cloud Chucker. Give and then the. Nickname and then how many coins you want to give? No, put this in flip coin. What? I, I mean, it depends, Linda. Starbucks is not that great. <laughs> Starbucks is awesome if you're looking for dessert or a treat coffee. Right. That's. I would I not it. choose Starbucks as my first cup of coffee in the morning. So, like, when I go to Starbucks, I don't get just coffee because <laughs> it's horrid will can't give one to scuba <laughs> i mean like at the airport we got it was a venti chai latte with two blonde shots with the cold foam toffee uh toffee nut cold foam which was delicious it was good um, it was good it was also not cheap those two extra shots of espresso made it a little bit more uh, expensive <clears throat> i i usually get either a venti no foam caramel macchiato or well, his, i get a venti iced coffee shot cloud checker you got to get scott right yeah a venti iced coffee with milk with three sweet and low sub toffee nut syrup that's my go-to but i don't know if they have heavy cream instead of milk 
See, and the toffee nut syrup is not sugar free. So. Will Fly already has a logo. He technically, I mean, I know he's made up some stickers. He could technically make some Will Fly shirts. He could just go out, you know, all out if he wanted to. I'm lazy, Linda. I don't feel like doing any of that. Yeah, it's supposed to be 70 degrees tomorrow. Now, the problem with that is tomorrow morning at 8.30 is going to be like 45. So it'll be kind of chilly. Um, I do not... I do yeah, know, and y'all are going to be on the ground before it heats up. It ain't going to warm up until like lunchtime. Right. So I don't want to bring anything with a hoodie because hoodies can go back into your prop. Thus, fly it for Wyatt. Or fly it, Wyatt. Got his hoodie chopped up in his prop. I don't want that to happen to me because it can break your prop and be a very bad day. So... I gotta find a jacket that doesn't have a hoodie on it to put on. That's it. There you go. Very nice, Cloud Tracker. He's got all the money. So, exclamation point give at whoever's nickname and then the amount you wanna give. Will, do you not have any money? <laughs> oh, give. You got to put the name first and then yeah, the amount Yeah, I give after. at whatever. Yeah. Don't you have a he heated? I do have a... Ooh, that's Yeah, an but that might idea. be overkill, Dom Long. It's not going to be that cold. Yeah, but I need to use it. I paid for the damn oh, thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. And you are a big, giant wussy. Yeah. He's he's got thin skin. He gets cold very easily. He's got the heat blast. I get very hot in the morning. Like by the time we leave the house on the way to work, I'm sweating. And he's got the heat on and the seated heats in the truck and I'm like, Fuck, I'm dying here. Turn the heat off. I'm gonna stick my head out the window as we're driving. He don't need to turn it on. Yeah. I don't <laughs> even know if the battery's charged for that thing, honestly. It's cold up there even in the summer. Uh, Creed, you do have a point, but there's also an inversion laser layer sometimes. So it could be 45 on the ground and 70 at 100 feet in the air. If you're lucky. I mean, it doesn't always work out that way, but um, maybe one of these times when Linda's flying, she'll get to see what an inversion layer feels like. It's so weird because... You can take off and it be really hot and then you go up and it's cool or you can take off and it's cold and go up a little bit and it's warm. Um, it all it all goes down to weather and whether it's going to be hot above the ground. Did we get some ads again, Harry? I'm sorry. Okay, I mean, King Cobra, that's the thing though. When I make my coffee in the morning, it's sweet and low and creamer. Or heavy cream. If I go to Starbucks, I'm not going to Starbucks to get coffee. We couldn't even do a get, mod heist, man. Going I'm... to get dessert with coffee in it. <laughs> there is a huge difference. Yeah, find it and charge it. I'm. I probably can find the battery. Finding what, the charger coat? for it is yeah. Uh, Finding the charger. I think the coat's form. probably hanging downstairs on that the rack. The coat is the definitely hanging downstairs on the rack, but it doesn't have a hoodie, so that's a bonus. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it when it's too hot. Yeah, I Linda. Luckily, Munchkin and I both like a nice, cool bed, so we're in agreement on that. I don't like it cold, but I do not like it hot Except either. Except for he's a human heater and always picks. Hey, look, I think she's I, having a hot flash. Let me wrap all my limbs around her until she just bursts into flames. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> She's got but impeccable timing for that. I, I'll give it to this house, man. This house, as far as the AC and the heat goes, it has been spot on. I, the highest our electric bill's been since we moved in was 260. 
260 has been our highest electric bill. That's crazy. Which at the other house, it got up upwards of $500. Yeah. But then again, there's only two people in here now instead of five or seven. It, it, the, yeah, but that had no bearing on the electric bill because that wasn't people leaving Your the lights Commodore on or watching 64. TV. Commodore <laughs> 64. John Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I that, had that one was, of those. That was all cooling. I had a Commodore 64, and I had a book where you had, had to write Apple 2C to play a game. You had to write all the code, and it was literally like I don't know 30 pages of code you had to type in. That was a pain in the ass for a stupid game that I didn't even like. I was like, man, damn this! <laughs> that was back in the day, man. John knows about all that stuff. Hell, I'm back. I'm back from that time too, because. My first video game was Pong on the TV. I'm surprised I even had it, to be honest with you. I don't know what my parents paid to get that, but I had Pong. And then we got the gun for Pong, so you could just shoot the square on your TV. How boring could it be? Very. Well, in, in the winter at the old house, we had gas heat. So even in the, in the winter... Um, It was the heat, the gas bill usually wasn't over 300 for heating, but the electric bill, I mean, it was probably around 150 during the winter when the gas was running. So the high bill in the summer was definitely because of the air conditioner. I have magazines that add code for games, never had an Atari. Electric bill's never been over 200. Damn, that's surprising. Um, oh, well, you're not. Yeah, I think Creed is out there where the temperatures get really hot. So that would be crazy. And I, and Angela even offered, she said, we can stay out there if we ever go to Vegas, which it would be nice to go to Vegas. I don't think we would go what there. What are you talking about, Creed? Fly. He didn't say anything about his electric bill. No, CDC. Did I say Creed? My bad. Um, our internet just messed up again, and it's back. I made a four hundred four handed spade game that worked perfect on a Commodore sixty four. <laughs> wow! Yeah, I'm really. I mean, I know John Wayne flies like three times a week. He, it's like second nature to him. I've had literally 12 flights total. So I'm still a very newbie noob. Now, I can control my wing. I got no problem with that. Um, I picked up on it really quick. But as far as experience goes, yeah, I need to get some more air time. I definitely need to get more landings in. If I don't get to do it tomorrow, when I get to that fly-in in May, that's all I'm going to do is take off and land and take off and land over and over again until I get my landing. Yeah, but that is a perfect. nice, big, huge field. Yeah, you're gonna it's have huge. That's you're going to have plenty of people out there to help you, guide you in, and tell you when your wing is straight and all that other shit. To where you'll be able to do that. They don't on usually your, on your trike. They, I can't. Yes, hear them. yes, they do. They but they are good with the hand signals. They'll yeah. tell you when your wings up straight and to go. Yeah. They were helping that one guy that was having a hell of a time getting his shit together. You Aren't we all climbing around those We things. are all getting old, bud. Um. I'm being why. harassed by my grandchild to take her to get Moki. Kimchi and ne nails, and I'm like, wait, it's not even your birthday; it's your sister's birthday. Why am I buying you shit for her birthday? Yeah, that's not the way that cute works. With nails, and I like kimchi. Well, I don't, I don't know if Katie's still planning on going to Pennsylvania, um, considering what happened. I didn't um, know she was going to Pennsylvania. I already told you that's why we're supposed to have Sadie and Lily in May. Oh, I knew you said we were going to have them, but I didn't know why. Okay. I, I told you because she's taking the train up to see Rissa's graduation because she's getting her Ph.D. Nice, nice. 
cassette tapes as storage. Man, mm -hmm. um, storage back in the day. I thought a 40 gig hard drive was plenty of space, but I probably still have. Well, I'll probably throw it away, but I had some 40 gig hard drives because they're IDE hard drives because they're very old, but all the new ones are like way bigger but now. But we're not vintage in the box, Will. I think Kim, she is fucking disgusting, Creed, but those children will eat anything. They they have the most expanded palates of any children I've ever seen. They try and will eat all kinds of shit. Yeah, I don't really go for the kimchi stuff. And I think Lily's favorite food on the planet is asparagus, though. But. Cloud Chucker, we'll have to do something special for your birthday, Good night, man. Linda. You're going to be 50 years old, and I'm 55 going on 56, Ugh. and I can still run into the sky. Um, so can Will, but I think Will's younger than I am, but I don't think either one of us are slowing down anytime soon. Hell, Rip Man Riding still runs what, into the sky. What John are we going to do for my 50th birthday? Huh? What are we going to do for my 50th birthday? You're nowhere near 50. No, I still got two more years, but that's not the point. I had plans for yours, but, you know, your ass was still in fucking Georgia, so. You didn't get any of You're that. You're older than me, Will? Get the fuck yeah. out of here. You're Will's not older old. than me. He is. I had mentioned it before, and he told me how old he was, and I called bullshit. I should have asked for your damn driver's license. Yeah, I think I think Will's pulling it. He says he's 56, so he's... Yeah, that sounds about right. That's what he said that's last That's because time. you probably already turned 56 this year. I'm just a... Couple years younger, or a couple months younger than. How about he's that? still older than you? Yeah. Linda says I'm older than all y'all. 1967. Okay, he's a full year younger or older than me. Cause I'm a 68 dude. I'm a bicentennial baby. Well, he'll be 57 <laughs> 67. There's Walter. How you doing, Walter? 67 hey, Walter, and I... can run slow. <laughs> Unless something's hey. chasing you, right, Lent, uh, Walter? You freaking run then, I bet. Roger, you'll have to come visit. I was going to say we can go out and party, but who are we kidding? We can go up to... Um... Shit, where'd we go to eat? I can't remember the name of it. I don't... The that tavern? Name, it always... The... Yes. Um... Park Lane Tavern. We can sit outside by the fire pit and have some drinks. And we one chip challenge is we chip. can do it all. <laughs> Friggin' Roger just sits there. Yeah, it's hot. Friggin' it, it's completely like it didn't unfazed. Even touch him. Yeah. That's crazy. Poor I Brandon. I thought he was old. gonna die. And your sister, and all she had was dust. She had she, dust. She just from licked the, the bag. Tip. Eat some hot shit. <laughs> right? And I've already showed Munchkin. I was like, well, they still got this and this because I think the hot chip challenge is gone because... Yeah, they discontinued it because people are stupid. Somebody died, um, and I, I don't think it was really because of the No, chip, it's but. they tell you if you've got, like, um, yeah, asthma or anything like that, you need to be careful, and people are dumb. <clears throat> Ages. Just I, I just want to go and have another Queen Mary because they've got the best Bloody Marys ever. They're delicious. Unlike the Bartesian Bloody Marys we got. They're fucking nasty. No, you're right, Creed. Yeah, RS didn't cough. Didn't even. His didn't eyes didn't drink. even water. He was completely unfazed. Yeah, it's you like, might as dude, well have handed him a Dorito. <laughs> does your does your taste buds even work anymore? No, they uh -huh. do not. He's burned them out by trying capsaicin crystals straight. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or he's secretly a duck, because I did learn that ducks do not have the receptors. Linda, to I know, capsaicin. I know the feeling. Personally, same way, except it was the opposite way for me. So, yeah.
Every Bloody Scott, Mary you've had was garbage. Wow. The, the the ones at Park Lane Tavern are very, they're very rich, and they're very spicy, and they come with basically a salad stuck to the edge of it, um, with pepperonis and olives and peppercini peppers, and the and one, they give you a little sidecar of beer. So I always and they're made they're made with Guinness Stout in the Bloody Mary. The one, so it, it's a glass about yay big, and then they give you a sidecar beer to go we with. We went like to the White House down in um, whatever that town is in Florida. Mm -hmm. It's one of the t Destin, Florida. We went to Destin, and there's that a house White down there County you can Club. rent. It's called the White House. Um, it's a big white house directly on the beach. And one of the guys there made a fantastic Bloody Mary. I was like, dude. How I mean, you, you can make, make your own thing? good Bloody Mary at home. Just get spicy V8 and pour vodka in it and slap some pepperonis in that bitch. Yeah. And they're pretty good. But well, the Queen Mary's he just at had Park this Lane Tavern and... are really good. I love them. It was it was delicious. I got. I it's got like admit. drinkable soup that you can eat before your meal. I mean, it definitely is a... Acquired taste? It, no, it, it's not like a refreshing drink it's a savory it's good i like it why is there an ant on my wall it is not ant season. why is the mod heist not working i think he turned off the mod heist we died earlier someone bumped the desk and we got buried it under says an chat of revenue mods. 25 dollars and 25 cents which means cloud chucker donated 20 dollars and the other five is probably what I've earned this year <laughs> just from doing Hi, YouTube. $5. What's up, Breeze? How you doing? Yeah, see? The mod heist is not working. It doesn't say anything about, hey, there's another seat or... I mean, there might be another one currently going right now. Maybe Here, I don't have 15,000 15, 15, coins anymore. <laughs> I would think I got some. It's okay, Breeze. You can come in late as you want to. Oh, ah, no. Nope. There it goes. Munchkin takes the last seat. It's working. Oh, yeah. We had fun at the fly-in, Breeze. I mean, it was more about getting to meet people down there and hanging out. I bought because... some bourbon ball whiskey from Old Smokey and didn't get any. I got a sip. I got one sip. A million ants on your hot cross Easter buns. The that would caught suck. you in the gas station bathroom. Damn, we got we got messed up again. I bet that was Lily. Yeah, one of the small people. <laughs> mm -hmm. It had to be Lily. She's always had to be. The world's world's sourest blueberry raspberry candy is called Black Death. Ooh. See, I've seen they've got salted licorice that's supposed to be super. And awful. then Cherokee's gonna give me a link to it. That gummit Cherokee, <laughs> Black Death. Oh, look at that! I bet we could get the kids to eat that. But it's it's. I'd have to get it shipped overseas. It cost me more to get it shipped over here. It's only four dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> Really sour stuff like that? I mean, yeah, it's bad, but I don't know if it would... I don't think it would bother me that long. They have Barnett's Mega Sour Zombie Bombs for $32 on Amazon. Man, I can't wait for tomorrow. I really hope that I do get stuff recorded. I'm probably not going to use the 360 camp, because to be honest, I think I'll drop it. And I don't want to drop my 360 camp, even though it would be cool footage to see me instead of what I'm seeing. But I think y'all enjoy seeing what I'm seeing, so I don't mind doing that. No, I think people would rather look. Would you want to watch anybody's flight videos staring at them? No. Occasionally before they take off. Hey, it's me. How y'all doing? Because I know you were super excited to see. Was it was it John Wayne or was it a. Uh, fuck. I don't know. What's the other guy's name? That you were super excited to see when he finally showed his face. Finally showed his, his video. 
Oh, well, that was probably John Wayne because yeah. I've already seen Bill in person. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, John Wayne. You were like, super, they, there's John Wayne. There's his face. You were really excited to see John Wayne. But now that you've seen him, would you want a whole video of just watching John Wayne fly? And watching his face while he fly? No, people want to see what you see, not you. I, I think it needs to be a mixture of both. More sour See, than I don't, I don't like heads. sour. But, I mean, if we, I'd get it just to go, Lily, eat this. But if we do end up having the small people in May, then we should go to Kyung Sung and get bulgogi so she can eat the kimchi because they give it to you for free. Oh. Uh, yeah, by then I could probably um, take a break from the diet. I... I've only lost, and we've been doing keto now for what? A couple months, it seems like. Almost two months? Beginning of March. Beginning of March? Okay, so it's been a full month. I've only lost 10 pounds. That's it. Usually I lose 20 right off the bat, and I'm like, where's when's the weight going to oh. come off? I'm definitely in keto because I use the sticks. Now, she's not in keto because she ate a freaking make it maple bacon donut. And it was so fucking good. Oh, my <laughs> God. It was delicious. It was really good. It was totally worth it. Nice, John Wayne. Yeah, I mean, we have to live by, is the weather good enough to fly in? And are, are is there anything in the sky keeping me from flying? I, you know... John's in a place where he's pretty much don't have to worry about stuff that's in the air, just the weather. I have to worry about both, so... Well, I mean, you wouldn't have to worry about it if you'd call Langley. I'm going to call Langley, but I don't have to this weekend because they're going to be And I close. believe we found a park over in Suffolk that is in good airspace, but you've never asked to go check it out. Well, I don't like any of that shit. I just want the bulgogi, Scott. You might order the stubby mech next payday. You're talking about... You're talking about this one? Cloud Chucker, the Scythala? I'm just wondering. This is a damn good mech mod. I ain't gonna lie. And I got serial number six, man. I got zero, zero, six. No bullcrap. Um, yeah, it's a very low serial number. Does it have a battery in it? I think it does. It does. Very simple mod. 21700 in there. Oh, it's, it's fine. Scott, I don't even like egg rolls. I, I do like lumpia, though. Lumpia is delicious. And that has cabbage, but it's more meat than cabbage. Oh, let me show y'all the snowman I got lumpia. from my winnings off of DCF. This is my 500 mil, yeah, 500 mil that I got from DCF, a snowman. Look at that big bottle of juice. To give y'all an example, where's 120 mil? So there's 120 mil stacked up next to it. This is a 500 mil. Creed wants to see the inside of that mod again. You want to see the inside? Cloud Chugger says, no, the stubby monarchy. Let me, um, I'm going to get the other camera out so y'all can see this better. How about that? Because why not? Um, let me, uh. I have to pee again. I'll be right back. Let me get, let me get that going. Zero six, that's old. What do you mean that's old, Walter? Come on, camera, kick in. Now flip. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right, that should be good. Let's see if the build cam works. Build cam, it working. So, this is the mod. This is the Scythala. It does come in very a lot of colors. You can see the 006 right there. Nice big fire button right there. The inside right here so let me pop the battery out so you can see this in all its glory this is how you lock it right here you spin this little dial and it keeps you from being able to fire it very simple there's not much to it 
this makes a connection between these two points. That's it. I mean, it's it's about as basic as you can get, but uh, it it works really good. And positive up on this, so positive up. I need to put the bottom in first, though. There we go. You just slap the door on there, and this door fits on there nice and tight. It does not move around at all. So if I can take the top off this. There we go. This battery is probably almost dead, though. And I think this is an Asgard I have on. No, this is the Ripsaw. I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Ripsaw RDA I have on top of it. Purple looks good on me, Walter. Okay, I'll remember that. Hey, I don't mind purple. I can do pink. You know, I ain't scared to use pink. I like purple. Purple, blue, green. I mean, I'm I'm biggest fan of blue, obviously, but um, you suck that? What do you think I'd do with it, Walter? It's honestly not bad. Uh, I'm going to try one of these wacky one-offs because I have no idea what flavor this is. And we're just going to see what it tastes like. Son of a bitch. Fucking tastes ass. like son of a bitch. Okay. How is it that I... Well, no, never mind. I don't pay for you. Interesting. Too. This has a... um. Not butterscotch, but something. Hold on. That's not the three milligram one, is it? Nope, it's six. Hmm. I don't bring your stuff in here. D bullshit. This definitely has like a... Almost a RY4 taste to it. Ooh, I like our Roy 4. You know it's Spooky Scorch Day today, right? Oh, is it? I ain't worried about Spooky Scorch. Me neither. Well, thank you, Walter. Muskins, you're funny. <laughs> I mean, I've been called other things, but I'll take funny. Yeah. What? I had to work an extra day in the office last week because, or Aww. this week, because I had to catch up. Because honestly, we've gotten a lot of orders this month. But wasn't it worth it? Because nobody knew you were there. So yeah, I was like nobody was bugging you. You could just do your thing. I was all sneaky in there, catching up. And on it would have taken you eight. twice as long to do that from home as it did from the office. Yeah, because I don't have two monitors. I'll take that here. too, Creed. I did get something though that I can run two monitors in here. That was the reason I got. It's a little adapter, and it has a USB C input with two HDMI well, output, so I can run my. My coworker at work vapes primarily just BG with nicotine in it, which is just mildly sweet. Um, RY4s are the closest you're going to get to a tobacco, tobacco but yeah. there there are no flavors that taste like a cigarette. When we say tobacco, you're looking at more like pipe tobacco, but yeah. sweet pipe tobacco. Now they had one that was called pipe sauce. That tasted like absolute fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. That actually kind of you could taste the smoke somehow, but it was not good. It was it was not good. A pelican protector. Well, thank you, Walter. Holder, what? Yeah, Linda, I don't miss that. The kids used to smoke us out of the house. I don't like the smell of weed. Um, a whiff of it every now and then is fine, but I don't I don't want my house to smell like that. I never have, even when I smoked it on the daily basis. I would always have the windows open and air fresh. I don't like the smell of it. It stinks. Oh crap. 
I'm just like, like, did somebody run over a skunk in my hallway? What the hell's that smell? Yeah, I don't, I don't care for it. Y'all, I saw a video today. I now follow this person on TikTok. She's got a pet badger, and his name is Conrad, and he's absolutely adorable. And Christine said, if Jeff let me bring a pet badger to the office, she wouldn't come in anymore, which I thought was a bit much. I told her I would put up a baby gate, but who doesn't need an emotional support badger? That would be great. He's so cute, and he makes little little grunting noises and, and gives kisses. I need come to on, Come on, come on, work, badger. work, work. I am trying to convince them that I need a badger and you're worried about something. I else. just I just won a random bag of crap off Woot. How are you on Woot right now? Why why? No, why? look, look, I'll show y'all. All right. Let me show you what's going on here. So y'all don't see. This was an air tag holder, right? And I was just trying to see pictures of it. When I scrolled over, hold on. I scrolled through the pictures. That gummit. Here we go. And then hey, I saw Eddie, this. How you doing? Good night, John Wayne. You see that? It gives you yeah. a it gives you a URL. I went to that URL and it was a bag of crap. I tried twice and it gave me the you're in the vestibule of patience and I hit one more time and it let me place the order. Exactly, Scott. A badger. He's absolutely fucking adorable i and you know what i would totally take my badger for a walk i would take that badger to work and i would put up a puppy gate just to keep the badger out of the rest of the office but you damn right like yeah go ahead and come in here and ask me for something i will stick my honey badger on you <laughs> okay i want that because that's going on the paramotor the the air tag holder because I've been trying to figure out a way to put it on there just in case um, <coughs> I can't find the paramotor for some reason. It disappears. I'll have an it air tag on away. it. Badgers will tear you up. Will, this exactly, badger will. is friendly. She was giving it snacks. He was taking snacks out of her mouth and giving her kisses. And she was booping his nose and he would make these weird chittering noises and take off and run around in circles and find me a baby wolverine. I'll take that too, Will. <laughs> Bring it. Bring me all the baby evil animals. Baby Tasmanian devil, I'm on it. Give them to me. I will have a herd of attack animals. I, uh... What? You go stop me. You can't stop me. My, my ex had a 15-foot Burmese python named Gomez. He was huge. Okay, I got air tag holders for all of them. They're $3.49. All right. That's not too bad. Right, that's What why do you I need got... an air tag holder for? Well, because if you don't get a holder, they're they're free. They just hang. So well, I have like little keychains. And I got four air tags, and I'm only using one of them right now. Yes, I know. It's attached to the keys, and it keeps telling me multiple times a day. I'm yeah, being tracked. and they had they had iPhones on sale, but it's an iPhone 12, and it's a smaller version. I don't want the mm. smaller one, so because I have trouble seeing. If you the get a hybrid, one. they're not too bad, Roger, but they can be very territorial. And possessive. I mean, any animal can turn on you easily. Our cats do it all the damn time. They're just small enough to where it's not deadly. <laughs> awesome. Really, really boost. hope I get to fly tomorrow. If I do, I will take the video. Because I've already cleared all my... I cleared my GoPro cards. They were full. I had no idea. So I cleared it. So it should have all the room that it needs. I will record the entire thing from takeoff to landing. Whether it be good or bad, I will record it. 
Because I, I educational will, TV, Walter. I don't even give a damn. If I land bad, I'll post it. I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't see YouTube as any more educational, considering I sat there for a half an hour and watched some Asian man with his camping equipment. It was well, supposed to be a review on an inflatable tent, which was actually pretty cool. But and then he started whipping out all kinds of shit. It had like 17 different lanterns and a, he had an inflatable outdoor couch. He yeah, had all I, kinds of crazy I shit. took the cool. seal off of it. Now he has Jesus, a nice Roger. little, now he has the little hat. You might as well just get yourself one of them Burmese mountain dogs. Ooh, that smells good. This is a blueberry custard of some sort. It's one of um Dave's well, all isn't day. Isn't that bakes. what you ordered? Yes, I ordered this because I like the so, blueberry. So it doesn't seem to be. It is. My arms will hurt. I'm not gonna flap my arms, Walter, to try and fly. Um. Addy, I I completely sympathize. All these stupid laws they have going on now against vaping is ridiculous. I don't know why they're coming after our market so hard, besides the fact that they're not money. making enough money off of us. <coughs> that's, that's what it boils down to. They're not making enough money off of us. So. Money, money, money. <sighs> hey, you know what? I take an otter, too. And, Scott, tell her to look into... <coughs> Um, exactly. like what do they call them? Yeah, Care, caretakers to where they raise the baby otters until they can take them to the zoo, or because most of the time they can't be released back into the wild when they're hand raised. But yeah, she can be she can be a, a baby otter I caretaker. If Wendy's ever going to do a show again because she just pretty much disappeared. She didn't have like a last show or anything. She just disappeared. I wonder what happened to Wendy Bakes. I mean, I, she's I working. Know. She very well could be working, but it's like you know, she just it, disappeared. I don't see why that would take that much convincing, Scott. I mean, have you seen otters? They're fucking adorable. Which one, adorable, once again, that just shows I don't do my show to make money or for profit or anything. Is I the bitches this. show ever going to return? I. We need more I, bitches, Scott. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if they were. I mean, Gailey and Bunny are still around. I honestly don't recall who the other two were. I don't know. Um. I mean, I get when it stops being fun. When it becomes a chore and something you don't want to do anymore, that's when you need to step away. I don't know if they'll ever come back. Well, I mean, as far as the step fun on part the toes goes, of the biggest vaping show in the UK. I like know, I like being able to come mm -hmm. on and talk about stuff that's going on around here, whether it be boring to everybody or not. That's your own opinion. I, I completely understand that, but I enjoy being able to come on every week and just talk about life. Whether we got new vape gear or not, you know, we just talk about whatever's going on, which is what we're doing now. Um, hopefully I get to fly tomorrow. I'm going to get to meet some new people. It's always cool to meet new people that are interested in paramotors because right and now. And the place they're flying out of is gorgeous. It's, it's, yeah. it's called Messick Point. So it, it's a, where Pocosin is, it's bait. Pocosin means Thanks, little, Will. right? Um. So this is the point of this particular county that is surrounded by water. So it's right on the James River. Um, but it's elevated. So it's pretty much the only elevated area. And so they, it's a nice, elevated, clear, flat field. So they can fly. The only thing is there's parallel lines on one side. <laughs> but other than that, it's a perfect spot. You don't have to walk too far to carry your equipment. There's a bathroom there for me, I so mean, I can walk over to the bathroom. Depending it's which way the to. wind's coming from, that spot, like y'all saw, and if you watch the videos on the Scuba's Hangout Facebook page, 
when y'all saw me take off doing that reverse launch, yeah, I was going towards telephone lines, which will probably be the case tomorrow because the wind's going to be coming from the south, which is a little bit left of that telephone line. So what'll, what'll happen is I'll take off to the left of that line and go around it and back. So I should be fine. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to use the wheels at Messick Point, Walter. Yeah, that's, you know, you bring up a great point, Walter, that the trike there, there's not a lot of room. I, I technically could take off with the trike. The thing I didn't like about the trike the, when I flew it the first time is I have to pull a lot of left brake to keep the trike flying straight. For some reason, it pulls a lot to the right. I'm sure I could adjust it out with my trim. Your trike's but out of alignment. Trike, I would not yeah. feel comfortable him flying out of there with the trike around the power lines until he gets used to the extra weight um, and how much longer it takes him to get up to his expected elevation. Because, um, like, last time you flew, you were landing across the power lines. If you're going to be taking off into them this time, I don't think that would be a good idea. King Cobra, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, it's nothing about the damn kids. They always yeah, that's, they always and, say and that. How, how is taxing it per milligram going to keep kids off of it? If they've got the money to buy a fucking mod, they've got the money to pay the tax. Now, our nicotine in Virginia is 0 .06 cents per milligram on is it point point six or is it's, it yeah, i think it's six cents per milligram it's six cents per milligram yeah or per um, milliliter i think i don't yeah, think per, they care about the per mil strength. yeah yeah if it's got nicotine yeah um so you can buy juice here without nicotine and avoid that tax well you they're supposed to not charge you that tax Sometimes they do because the stupid idiot behind the register don't know. I'm yeah. buying zero milligram. Well, that's dude. when you say, it, yeah. No, they're not. And it, well, it's never been about the kids. If it was about the kids, then they'd be throwing a fit over flavored alcohol. But nobody says a goddamn thing about that. If it was about protecting kids, Fabuloso wouldn't be able to sell toxic floor cleaner that looks like a bottle of juicy juice. But they do. It's all about money, if they and steal we know it, that. What's the point of how much it is? Yeah, you know. Yeah, but they're not stealing it. Kids these days have their own fucking debit cards. Yeah. I. I... Well, but the the vape then it then it boils down to the vape shop owners. You know, are they going to sell to kids that are underage? Most it... of them aren't. Right. Most but of them. But we already aren't. know it's bullshit to begin with. It's just a made-up bullshit story so they can collect more money. That's yes, all because the people that don't vape and not are involved in it are like, oh, my God, we can't have the kids doing that. So, yeah, let's whatever we need to do to keep it out of the hands of kids because they don't pay attention. And they don't care because it doesn't affect them. But you bring kids into it, and all of a sudden, we got to do that unless it's trying to keep crazy people from buying guns. But, you know. There's got to be a line in there somewhere between involuntarily committing people and then just letting them arm themselves to the teeth. But at the same time, there's that crazy dude that's been walking around New York just punching white women in the head for no fucking reason. He's not armed at all, so what are you going to do? Cloud Chucker, I get what you're saying. I, I understand completely. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to post that, but I, I know what you're feeling. And, you know... As far as we had in the vape days, as far as networks and stuff goes. They're going to do that anyway, though. Networks Walter. never worked out because of an abuse of power. They always wanted more power. Or they wanted to imply rules that had nothing to do with the network we were broadcasting on. Which didn't make any damn sense. It's like, oh, you can't drink while you're on the show. Is this a Vapors TV rule or one y'all want to implement? And, and it, was, it was probably implemented because of someone specific, where they say one bad apple spoils the bunch. It's because people were drinking on the show and falling asleep live. Yeah. I mean, that's not my problem. I didn't do that. I don't fall asleep on my yeah, show and just Walter, leave the show. Walter, here's the thing, though. Kids are going to do it anyway. 
whether they tax it, whether they ban it, they're going to do it. You know, alcohol is against the law for children under or people under 21 in this country. Do you think it stopped anybody? Do you think any teenager has been like, sorry, no, I don't want to drink because I'm under 21. I started smoking in the fifth fucking grade. Nobody said a goddamn thing about cigarettes. I could walk into the store with a note from my mom to buy cigarettes in fifth grade. I started drinking at 11. I was doing acid at 13. All of that shit is highly illegal. Scott, it's not that was stop three dog anybody. under the table, by the way. That was three dog under the table. Yes. Oh, I am not. I have pictures of it. Incorrect. You were both under the table. We took a Just picture say. of both of us under the table, but three dog was definitely under the table. <laughs> she couldn't hang with the scuba. She couldn't hang. Yeah, kids are going to get it whether they, you want them to or not. And just like cigarettes, all of the friends I knew in school whose parents allowed them to smoke in front of them, right, all of them, eventually quit within a year or two this, because this is... they weren't being sneaky. They weren't getting away with anything. They didn't have anything to, ooh, we're going to go get a pack of cigarettes and go hang out in the woods and smoke cigarettes. They, it, there was no thrill. This and is my problem stopped. with it, right? So they're going to implement this tax because they're saying they're trying to get kids off of vaping. So what happens when they implement this tax and they realize the same amount of kids still get vape products? Nothing because it's not about the kids. Right. They're not going to take that tax away. <laughs> when Hell they, no, they're when not. The, yeah, but they're not going to broadcast that. Oh, the figures are exactly the same. No, Duh. because it's about money. Why do you think sin taxes exist? Why do you think there's additional taxes on cigarettes? Sin taxes are sin taxes specifically because they know, hey, you guys like this and you'll pay anything to get it. So, cha-ching. Sin taxes are fucking bullshit. It, it's just a damn shame that they're going to, oh, yeah, we're going to, um, we're going to implement this tax. There's no bad chemicals getting in to, to. Nobody's going to adulterate their juice because that's not how you sell e-liquid. <laughs> the bad chems were a thing that for was a weed. very short period of time. It, it was, was weed. It was people trying to get high off of vaping devices using I, oils in no, their juice. No, I, I can tell that wasn't what it was. People were adding vitamin E acetate to their Which shitty... Which is oil. Yeah, but... but. They were adding it because they were trying to improve the quality of their fucking weed liquids. They were trying to improve the viscosity and make it look better. They didn't know. They didn't know that it was deadly and that it was that dangerous. They were just trying to make it look better so they could sell more of it. But that was all weed. But the kids didn't want to tell their parents and the doctors that they were smoking weed. <laughs> so they're like, no, I was vaping. Yeah, what were you vaping? But those people weren't doing it. In, they were doing it intentionally, but they did not know it was harmful. They, they, they didn't know. And it's not a thing anymore because now they know. And they're like, oh, did I do that? They didn't, they didn't know. The black market will take over the disposables mm -hmm. after the ban in the UK, so I can't understand what, why they're banning them. Yeah, but you know what, dire thing? They told him it was harmful, but at the same time, how long have we been told that weed's going to turn you into a fucking heroin addict? Everything they've told us about drugs since D.A.R.E. started when I was in elementary school has been a fucking lie. So why are they going to listen to him now? Why, why are they going to listen to him now? Just like, like spice crap, right? How can it be bad for me? They sell it in the grocery store. They sell it at the... They, they sell it here. They sell it, but it, but no one's going to believe it because they've lied to us so long. Walter, if they're saying that there's chemicals, okay, because we have the commercials here too. 
where they're talking about your vape and heavy metals. Those tests were conducted by basically running all the juice out of your mod and firing dry ass coils. So that's like saying, hey, if you burn your toast until it's black and charred, it's not going to taste good. Technically, it's not a lie, Creed, but no one's going to vape that. No one's going to vape that way. No one's going to fucking just suck on dry burning cotton. (laughs) It's not going to happen. It's not a lie. However, it's presented without the data to tell you how they came to that conclusion. Oh yeah, I this mean, there's like it's firing that hard. I'm gonna switch the battery because this battery is probably dead. Just guessing, and I have a brand new, freshly charged. Yeah, there is nothing in our e-cigarettes that can kill you. It's flavoring, vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, and nicotine. If anything at all is questionable. It's the flavorings because they're not necessarily meant to be inhaled. But the VG and PG are water soluble. That's why you always hear it's it's steam. It's steam. It's just like water, water vapor. Technically, it's not. However, your body, your lungs treat it as though it is. Yeah. I wanna... Yeah. I mean, it, it's there. There. Those test results were achieved by bringing the equipment to unusable was parameters so no one's going to vape like that okay. they used to be dire thing but to i say, mean vg that's in smoke machines they do that at amusement parks and haunted houses there's nothing wrong with that pg used to be in asthma inhalers and they used to pipe it through hospitals to clean the air because PG is a natural um, antiseptic. I tried to pour just a little bit into this RDA to try the new blueberry. Blueberry? I put so much in here, it literally poured out of the top of it, so it's a little flooded right now. Well, you are a little heavy-handed, dear. Damn, I didn't try to put that much in there. Yeah, and what the hell is that about maxing their tank capacity? What the fuck is that going to do? <laughs> that sounds to me like they're trying. I mean, yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yes, this propylene glycol is a really good way to suspend the medication inside the asthma inhalers. I'm sure somebody has. Is ministry even still around? Dom Long, I put way too much juice in here. I'm trying to get past it, but holy crap, it's flooded. Walter, pretty much anything you hear on TV or on the news about vaping, it's bullshit. Yeah. It's it's bullshit. You're not going to see The only reason is because the tobacco companies... Now, I don't think the, the uh, Master Tobacco Settlement Act has any bearing on Australia. However, there are other countries like the Philippines and things like that where tobacco is their main export. That is their main crop. So when people quit smoking, it cuts into the profits, and we can't have that. Yep. You're not going to get me to go back to cigarettes. So Mm-mm, No. And see, our alcohol, our alcohol is not that expensive here. Um, people in the United States can fucking drink. I mean, you know, it's just we, we can drink, especially in, in Virginia. They keep every year, they're like, we beat our record from last year. We've oversold ourselves by like 100 grand. It's like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be advertising that. Is that something we should really be proud of? Apparently, we are. We are very proud of our alcohol consumption in Virginia. Good night, Creed. Hi, Stephen. How you doing? Hello, Stephen Wood. Um, yeah, Creed, go have fun. Go do your date night thing. Yeah, I mean, everything's got a slant, Wally. Absolutely everything. It depends on who's who's telling you. 
How long does it take to vape out a flooded RDA? I don't know. Tip that shit over on a paper towel and let it run back out. I'm trying, but nothing's coming out. I think I've it got just, it. You let it sit for a second, dear. I don't think I put enough cotton in mine when I re-wicked it on one of the wicks because it pops occasionally. I don't like that. I don't like hot juice in my mouth. So it said. Yeah. I was waiting for it. There we go. I think I finally Forced. got... Oh, the humanity up. creed. <laughs> I feel like I'm I, nicked I, out, though. I feel for you, bud. I really do. Take some leave first so you don't wake up sore in the morning. All right. We're going to have to end this show pretty soon because we have to get up early. I have to... Well, the main thing is I have to get Munchkin up because she's not going to wake up. She never does. Now waking up is horrid. It's a horrible experience. I get it. I, I so get it. But once I'm up and I'm moving, um, you're still trying to wick your RTAs, right? The, the key is, is you want enough wick to where it doesn't slide easily, but not so much to where it pulls the coils when you're trying to move the wick back and forth. Now, as far as the wick into the holes of the RDA on the sides, his method is to cut at the edge of the RDA. Not, not the edge of the deck, but the edge of the actual RDA itself. Oh, the next and, show's and actually on your it birthday? Out nice. And you should be good to go. Yeah, it depends on the RTA, um, Stephen. So if you have one that i have in my arsenal of rtas i do not mind building that next week for you to show you how um i wick it and then you yes, can just try tell that. him what it is now so he can dig it out <laughs> yeah if i have it i will dig it out um what Look, rta if, do you have steven if i can rewick you can rewick <laughs> even though that's because i have I a lot of them i mean i may have it if i do great i'll build it next week um if I don't, then I can probably get something. Steam Crave Ragnar. I do have that. I will definitely have to dig that Just out. Steam Crave is not a hard one to wick. It's actually one of the more forgiving <coughs> RTAs. Um, but I do have a Ragnar. But um, April 5th, which is funny, Cloud Chucker, because that was my ex-wife and I's wedding anniversary. Go figure. <clears throat> so. Wait, but, so you remember that, but you don't remember ours? What the actual fuck? We don't have an anniversary. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great weekend. I, I don't see anything I'm, funny about I'm going to try to fly yeah. tomorrow. If I do, I will get video of it. Um, you can guarantee I'm going to drown that. him in the river. I don't know if y'all see yeah. him next Friday or not. <laughs> Munchkin's gonna drown me, so I may not make it back next week. But um, if we do make it to next, he should week, feel fucking blessed that I'm still here, and that I love him, and that I tolerate his ass. See, see, she's she's about to kick me to the curb. She's so close. I, I knew it. It, 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 it's, it was inevitable. I was just waiting for it. I'll either take a ring. A pug or a French bulldog, or even a boxer. Take your pick. <laughs> you can buy a ring or an expensive dog. Yeah, I mean, they're probably around the same thing. All right, you guys have a great weekend. We'll catch you guys next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Um, I, I will try to dig boxer, out the Steam though, Crave Ragnar for next week's show. Um, for Steven Wood, if you are here See, next that's week. That's what I thought, King Cobra, but apparently that doesn't count. You know, the, the it's just a piece of paper, and yet, I mean, you know. At 8 o'clock mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time next week, Friday. Mm -hmm. Be here. See, he's trying to get off because he doesn't want to get fucking raked through the coals. And there's Time Keeper. Rake. Hey, Time Keeper, Rake him. Rake him. Bye, everybody. Good night. Y'all have a great weekend. Happy Easter to everybody. Bye.